Well, I'm going to do a start to finish product in Topo Gun 3 for you. Uh, let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, so this is the uh, the screen that you'll get when you first load in Topo Gun once you've licensed it and whatnot. Or you can run it in demo mode, apparently. I don't know. I had an existing license from Topo Gun 2. Um, apart from this, I've just docked the tool palette on the side there I find it nice and easy to do if we do that so you can do that by clicking on view and tool options and I've already docked it in there but you can drag it out or you can put it back um, I like it there because it's constantly on the screen and sometimes it gets lost if we don't dock it so let's leave it there so first thing we have to do is we need to load in a reference mesh and we'll do that and we'll load in just the head here she comes. There she is. Right, so we'll turn off the bounding box and the contours. We can turn off the vertex color as well, but it makes the model slightly easier to read in this case if we leave the vertex colors on. Actually, no, let's leave them off. So we're going to retopologize her using some of the tools that we've got. So the first thing I would do is um, using the uh, masking tool, I'm going to extract the ear and I'm going to do an automatic retopology on the ear and that's just going to save us a whole bunch of time and working stuff out. Uh, the automatic retopology tools in Topo Gun are pretty cool to be honest with you. So let's shrink that down and we can just use the alt key, uh, the control key to use the alternate function of the masking tool. And what we're doing is we're trying to do a nice hard edge to our mask because that's going to make the retopologize tool work a little bit better. Just giving a border around our ear so that we get a nice even sh shape. I want a, a nice clean edge loop around the edge of our ear. So first of all, we're going to extract that and we're going to extract the mask and it's going to do this for us. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to export that mesh. And we're going to save it as our left ear. That's fine. And the reason why we do that is because um, if we just retopologized this, it would retopologize the whole thing. So we need to extract and create a new mesh to retopologize because it will retopologize that particular mesh. Let's go ahead and turn off our head and click on retopologize. And let's go ahead and see what it gives us straight away. There we go. And as you can see, it's given us quite a clean topology, but I mean, it's far too high res for what we want. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and we'll reduce that down to something like that. And we'll retopologize. We can play with the amount of faces that it will retopologize to. But um, what I find is if the loop isn't clean around the edge, if I add a few more faces, then it will give us a cleaner loop. But we have got a nice game res ear there with a nice clean loop around the edge so we'll go ahead and we'll create a seam mesh out of that now it's currently in our left ear retopology layer so we don't want that what we want to do is we want to move it to our head layer so we've done that now and we can go ahead and we can delete our reference here and then we can switch back to our head reference and you'll see that now our ear topology or retopo is on our underneath our head reference layer. Uh, so what we want to do is on the head reference layer, let's just clear that mask out. And now you can see if we select that ear retopology layer, that's now part of our um, main retopology layer. And we'll just call that main retopo okay so that's in there now what I like to do is because um, some of the because uh, it's in beta still uh, some of the tools don't work in symmetry mode so I'm going to retopologize half of this head and then I'll show you how to symmetrize it over uh, but main things that and the first part that I wanted to do is get that ear done so let's um, 
crack on in the next video and re-topologize the face.